Uh, hello everyone. In this tutorial, we'll learn how to create uh, combo charts in uh, Python using Plotly, and we'll do this in the ten steps that are mentioned here. So let's get started. First, we'll import the libraries. We'll use only two libraries for this tutorial. One is Pandas to handle the data frame, and another one is Plotly, which we'll use to create our combo chart. So let us declare our data frame. So let us just try to visualize our combo chart before we start to plot it. So here we have three columns, two are numerical, one is uh, categorical. So what we, how our combo chart would look like is uh, section would be on our x axis and one numerical column I'll represent using a bar and another numerical column I'll represent using a line. Uh, so let's uh, first create a basic line chart and we are doing that by using uh, the section as our x axis and for y axis I've uh, chosen uh, average height. So we can do this by simply using the px dot line syntax and as you can see here our basic line chart has been created. What I'll do now is I'll add bars to this line chart. How I do that is by adding this statement which is fig dot add bar and then I mention our x axis again our y act, our new uh, y axis which would now be uh, average weight and then I also mention uh, the name. So this name is actually picked up as a legend and mentioned over here that you can see average weight. Once I add these attributes and then I hit execute. So now as you can see here, okay, our combo chart has been created, but our work is not done yet. We'll try to optimize it. We'll try to tweak this combo chart even further to make it uh, more uh, better and more presentable. So the first thing I notice here is that the bars are very wide and I want to just uh, reduce the size of my entire chart. So let us, uh, tweak our height and width. I can do that by simply adding a height attribute and by a width attribute and then executing the code. So now, uh, as you can see here that, okay, our bars are now uh, a bit slimmer and the chart looks better. Uh, what I'll do next is add line markers. I can do that by adding this attribute, which is marker equal to two. And first let us just uh, add markers equal to two and execute. So here these little dots have been added on our lines which are our line markers but I also want to increase the size of these line markers so I'll add this uh, attribute which is uh, the statement which is update traces and I'll mention the marker size that I want. So here I want the marker size is 10. So here okay now we see that our line markers has the size of our markers has been slightly increased. What I'll do next is I'll add uh, data labels. So to add a data label to our line we need to only mention the text uh, equal to average height and it will pick uh, uh, pick the average height. Uh, uh, so, so this is our uh, column name of this data frame df. So it will accordingly pick the values and plot it on top of our line. I also uh, want to mention that uh, these uh, data levels need to be created slightly above our line. So I've mentioned this uh, attribute which is text position equal to top center. And if I don't add this, it will directly plot our data labels on top of our line as you can see here. I don't want that, so I'll just make it like this. Now to add data labels to our bar, I need to mention two things. One is our text and here I mention the, the DF of average weight. And then I also mention the text position as outside. If I don't mention text position outside, it will just plot uh, the uh, data labels of our bars right over here, which is slightly below uh, and inside our bars. Uh, so uh, going ahead, I'll uh, actually change the colors for both my bar and my line. Uh, so let me just, uh, so how I do that is for uh, my line is by uh, only adding this statement, which is color discrete sequence. And then I mentioned that the, uh, the color that I want, which is turquoise in my case and which I've uh, mentioned here uh, to update the color of my bar. I need to mention uh, this attribute which is marker equal to and then in a dictionary like format I mentioned the color is pink. So once I mention these two things and then I execute the code. So here as you can see that both my colors for my line and my bars have been uh, changed. What I'll do next is I'll add a chart title and that is very simple to do. I can do that by simply adding update layout and then I mention the title text and the position of the title that I want. So once I add these attributes and I hit execute, uh, so as you can see here uh, that the chart title has been added and the position of the uh, chart title is uh, the center of my graph. So the final thing that I'll do is also add a, a template to my chart. So here I've added the template as plotly white. 
So there are other templates that you can uh, explore as well, which are equally as good, which are Plotly Dark, Seaborn, and GG Plot too. So I'll uh, leave up to you to explore the other templates. Uh, thank you everyone for watching.